Hello everybody, this is Mike Peters from Peters Industry Training and Consulting. I want to introduce to you the Siemens TIA portal today. So, this is it. Let's dive right in. So, this is the start screen that you see when you open it for the first time. And um, you, as you can see here, you have different options. Um, open an existing project that we don't have by now. And then um, you can create a new project, migrate project. It will welcome to her and um, you can have a look on like the install software and there's a pretty good help in it. Um, but for now, let's just like create a new program that we can we can have a look on what kind of features this um, TIA portal has. So you create a name. Everything else is set up by your by default. So you can add comments. We don't do that now. Just um, create it by now, and we'll do it for you. Wait a second. <coughs> so now, when you have um, created your your program. Um, your project, you can choose for um, what you want to do next. Um, normally, if you if you create a project, um, the first you want to do is um, configure a device. So that's what you can do here. And that gives you a couple of options. Um, what kind of what kind of devices you want to want to create? So should show up right here um, let's see add new device so first of all well you might not know about that but you like the first you need is a controller so in our case we are working with the S7-1500 CPUs so let's just like pick one random just to show you what it's gonna look like so you can choose the version of it. In our case, we take the highest version because we don't really have a project here, and we add that device to the project. Takes a while. So let's talk about like the the best setup for your for your computer. Um, with the Siemens software, unfortunately, you have the problem that it only runs on Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, uh, but not on Windows 10. So you need a, and I would I would recommend a Windows 7 um, OS. For your for your computer, unfortunately on the Mac it doesn't run at all, so you would have to set up a uh, a virtual machine or something in order to get it running on your Mac or on your Windows 10 computer. <coughs> so what we can see here, this is the project view. We were on the portal view before. This is this, and then the project view is basically where you work in. So. Um, by setting up a project, uh, what happens here is like it shows you like a bunch of um, different types of data here. Uh, you have program blocks, and it, all, and it always comes with the main OB1. This is actually your operating block um, where you are calling all the all the different functions and function blocks and data blocks and all this stuff. Um, but I will discuss that with you guys later in. A, in another video. Uh, right now I just want to show you how the TIA looks and how you can get it um, because of, like some of you might have googled that already and um, as you can see the pricing for that, for that software is about like 
if you want to have the full version, you at least like four thousand dollars or something. So, um, well, that's just to start out. That's that might be a little bit expensive. So Siemens has a trial version of that um, software, and I will show you how to get that. This is pretty easy. You go to Google, um, and you type in Siemens. There it is. Siemens Tia Portal version 13 download. And what you get is already this here. So it should should rank pretty high. And you go on the trial download. And it brings you right to the page where you can download all that software. But keep in mind, in order to download all this, you need to be um, a registered customer from them. You don't have to pay anything, but you have to uh, register with your name, address, uh, email address, and all this in order to download all this. Um, well, keep in mind, that's a lot. Of, as you can see, that's a lot of data here. So you want to download the Step 7 Professional version 13 Service Pack 1. This is what we're going to work with uh, in the future videos. So just go ahead and download all these. Make sure you download all of them before you download the XE. And um, then um, it will ask you for more detailed information, what kind of person, what kind of department of your company, or um, if you're just like a, a regular person um, before you can download the XE that um, the exa file and then um, also download the PLC sim that's a simulator for for that software because no one of you will have hardware so just download it and you will be fine so that will take a couple of hours so why don't you all go ahead and download this and um, I will I will go ahead and upload the next videos see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe bye